now let us see how to create the containers for creating the container we need to pull the images so for creating the container what is the command for creating the container we can run this command docker container run then we can specify that please create the container in interactive mode and uh, please attach uh, one terminal uh, sudo terminal minus t and name the of the container is going to be c1 and from which image we are going to create the container from alpine which is one of the smallest uh, images available and uh, what program to run in our case we are going to run uh, alpine ss ash command here so when we are going to run uh, this command what will happen our containers will get created but before that what we need we need to pull the image so uh, once uh, you have installed the docker we will see how we have installed the docker here we are assuming that docker is already installed so what is the command that we are going to use for pulling the image the command is docker image pull alpine now when we are going to pull it is going to pull the latest version of the alpine so uh, using default tag latest uh, it will pull the image then it will say that pull is complete and uh, it will show the status downloaded near image for from where uh, the uh, near image for docker.io alpine latest it has downloaded the image how can we view so uh, again uh, first we have pulled the alpine image later on we are going to need one uh, uh, web server image also and we know that uh, two popular web servers are Nginx and uh, Apache so in our case uh, we are going to pull another image also docker image pull Nginx and we are uh, saying that please uh, um, pull the image which is based on Alpine whichever images are going to be based on Alpine the size of those images is going to be very small so that means we have pulled the two images that means uh, first uh, the alpine image then a web server image which is of nginx and which is based on alpine we have pulled now when we are going to list the images docker image list and uh, what it is going to do it is going to list the images in our case nginx and alpine their tag their id uh, how much time before it was created what is the size look at the size of the images that mean alpine image size is 5.6 mb only and uh, this uh, nginx alpine image that mean a uh, operating system is also there plus uh, your uh, you can say uh, your uh, nginx web server is there still the size is less than 20 mb so uh, docker image list we are using head minus uh, 3 so that only it is going to display the first three lines sometimes uh, in your system there could be hundreds of images so you can use uh, these uh, head or tail commands uh, for viewing the uh, top images or uh, uh, bottom images so here we are using head 3 that means just uh, outputs show the first three lines then we are going to run that command docker container run minus i mean interactive mode attach terminal what is the name of the container c1 from which image we want to create alpine and what is the shell ess so immediately within second our container will get created so this is the prompt of the uh, container that means we are inside the container that is why we use this uh, i option t mean attach the terminal and uh, by running this if config uh, eth0 command we can check what is the address so if we are going to check the address that it is showing that address is 172.17.0.3 this is the ip address of that container and if when we are going to press ctrl d we will logged out from that container so that we created the first container now we want to create the second container same a command we are going to run docker container run interactive mode uh, uh, attach terminal and we are naming this uh, container as c2 from which image uh, 
Now we are saying uh, please create from all fine. Again we are specifying the cell AS. Again if we are going to run this command if config ETH 0. It is showing that our uh, LAN card is ETH 0 and IP address is 172.17.0.3. Now we want to check the connectivity between two containers. That means already one container, this C1 container is running. C2 container is running. From C2 container we are going to ping our C1 container. So as we can see it is pinging. Now with the docker container ls minus command we can view the containers. Then with docker container stop c1 we are going to stop the container docker container stop to c2 container and then we are going to remove the container by running the command docker container remove c1 docker container remove c1. That means uh, here we have covered how to exit from the container when you have to exit from the container you have to press uh, control D then for stopping the container you run have to run the command stop and for uh, removing the container you have to run the command RM.